So over here, you can see that I have a PDF document opened up. And if I want to, let's say, for example, search for certain things on the document, then I can use the search feature. So to do that, I can simply go over here and press Control F on my keyboard. And then the search window opens up just like this. So if I were to go over here and type something, for example, if I were to go for something like four, you can see that there's some exact matches right here. And if I were to click it, you can see that the four word got highlighted. So there are other things right over here as well. So let me just search for the word PDF and you can see that there's matches right here like PDF. And if I were to click on next right here, you can see that it goes on to the next instance of the word just like this. I can go to next and previous. So if I were to go to uh, 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 go on onto my keyboard and press Control Z, then it goes on to the next instance right here. So instead of clicking next, I can also press Control Z and go on to the next option. So over here in the find, you can see that there's a total of 13 search results. So if I were to go on to this icon right here, then I got other options. So I can find next in the current PDF and you can open up the full reader sets over here as well. So you, you can actually open up and then get more option. But this is something we're going to talk about in the next video. So if I were to go over here and there's whole word only set. So if I were to go to whole word and now set out, you can see that there's only uh, seven instances. So now what happens is that it does not include PDFs. That means it does not include a PDF S at the end, but only searches for the exact PDF. So if I were to go to case sensitive, for example, then you can see that it is case sensitive. So if I were to actually type in PDF and press next, you can see that it does not find any result because PDF over here are all in capital letters. So if I were to go over here again and uh, say include bookmarks, it all sets out for only bookmarks. So if there's a bookmark in the PDF over here, you can see that there's bookmarks right here in this PDF. And you cannot add in any bookmarks by using Adobe Acrobat Reader, but you can using Adobe Acrobat Pro. So over here on the left side, this PDF has some bookmarks. So I'm just going to go around and let's say I want to include bookmarks right here. And I'm going to search for the word welcome and I'm going to hit next right here. So there's no matches found whatsoever. So I'm just going to disable the case sensitive. And over here, you can see that as I select welcome, you can see that there's welcome right here. If I were to go around and then search again, you can see that it uh, gets highlighted over here. So that is how uh, it actually works out. Then over here, the other option is you can include comments. So if there's any comment that's included right here, then it'll search that out as well. And that is how you can find content within the document by using the find feature. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.